housing is a basic human need as a first important level of need similar to food and drink. Therefore, it is at the center of well-being. The ability to own a home boosts one's status in the society. However, despite efforts made by government to tackle the issue of housing availability, affordable housing is still a mirage. Glad to have you here once again. My name is Namso Thauma. The idea of affordable housing is practical and viable, but the road to achieving it is fraught with a plethora of challenges. This will be your first focus on the program today, and since the rains are here, we shall also be talking about the effect of improper drainage systems on housing. We also spoke to people affected by flooding as a result of poor drainage systems. The 13th Abuja International Housing Show is just about a month and a few days to go. We have details on registration for the show. And after the news, I'll be joined by a housing expert and an affordable housing advocate to talk affordable housing possibility in Nigeria. Do stay. Federal Capital Territory Administration has said no less than 500 billion naira is required to resettle the original inhabitants in 13 villages within Abuja. This disclosure was made at the weekend by the Executive Secretary, Federal Capital Development Authority, FCDA, Umar Jubrin in Enugu during a media retreat who was represented by Richard Dauda, the Executive Secretary. He also noted that poor funding, among others, is an issue of installed infrastructure development of some of the districts which have been earmarked in phases 2, 3 and 4 of the federal capital city. All is set for Africa's biggest housing and construction event, Abuja International Housing Show, AIHS. The show slated for 23rd to 26th July at International Conference Center, Abuja, will host over 40,000 participants from Nigeria and at least 15 countries. This year's edition will host over 200 CEOs from varied companies and firms in the housing, construction and business industries across Africa and the world. Clearly, there is no other platform in the country that can bring together as many CEOs and professionals, not just housing, real estate and construction sectors, but also from government, investment and capital markets to share their first-hand experience, knowledge and expertise on varied issues related directly or indirectly to housing and development. And finally, an expert in the real estate, Chibundu Marcellus, has said that the movement of the economy can make positive impact on the built environment if government can straight out the laws regulating the industry. Marcellus, who is an investor in one of the biggest real estate firms in India, said by 2020, investable real estate will have grown by 55% compared to what it was back in 2012. He also stated that real estate in 2020 will capture important trends in the industry as well as impact the managers and investment communities. Glad to have you back. That was Housing News Updates with Chinelo Uzawuru. For more, you can visit www.housingnews.org.ng. Like I said earlier on the program today, we shall be discussing the issue of affordable housing. And with me in the studio, we have um, today Dr. Ayo Bamishile. He's a housing expert and the former president of Nigerian Institute of Building. And we also have here Barista Festus at Debayo, an affordable housing advocate. Thank you for joining us on the program this morning. Thank you very much for having me. All right. Now let's discuss affordable housing. And I'll start with you, Dr. Bamishile. Why is it difficult for developers to build houses that are affordable for the ordinary man to purchase? Well, I would like to start by maybe throwing another question to you. Okay. What is the definition of afford affordable? Of course, something that is you can afford, a house that you can buy. Affordable? That income earners can buy. Well, <clears throat> when you say low income Anna, the starting point is where do you draw the line? Okay. To address this issue, I think the best thing for us to do is to use the international standard. 
What do I mean by using international standard? It is a well-known fact that housing is not something that you save money to go and purchase in a day. It's only in Nigeria that you have to save huge amount of money to purchase your shelter. In most developed nations, once you have a full-time employment and you have been on that employment for a minimum of six months, then you are entitled to mortgage. If we take it from there, you need to use between 20 to 30 percent of your income to service your mortgage. That is the standard. Anything below that, if you are doing a job that cannot guarantee between 20 to 30 percent of your income to service your mortgage, then you resort into social housing. So I will not agree for us to be defining affordable, affordable. We must draw a line. All right, Mr. Adebele, can you react to what he just said? Yes, uh, just as the doctor has said, the UN says you cannot use more than 30 percent of your income to service mortgage loan. That is the fact. And now to go further, why are the houses not affordable? Number one, just as the doctor has said, the developer is into business. And by this, he's saying government intervention is required. In essence, what I'm trying to say is this. One, the cost of land, the cost of building materials. You can imagine some areas in Nigeria today, the cement is going for 2.5, and some area is going for 2.6. The iron rod, none of, our, none of our steel rolling mill is working. A lot of our building materials are still being imported. imported yeah. So, we are due, when you calculate all this cost, the developer will not carry it. If we have to transfer it to the buyer, and that is the fact that remains there. Let the next level of worry take care, put housing as a priority. Let them look into the issue of access to land. If my driver has access to land, he will build his house. Government intervention, I'm aware family owned phone has been established. Yes. But we need the political will of the government to support them to have access to land, and to also have access to infrastructure. You all see the situation, whenever the rain is falling, all sorts of problems are happening. Of no access road, nothing, nothing. If a developer should also be responsible for providing primary infrastructure, the, the affordable housing will not exist. By the way, there's no mortgage system. Everything you see is double digits. We must get it right. We must just get it right. And from what Dr. Babisili has told you, he is saying, you are just putting the developers in that kind of embarrassment, it should produce affordable housing, affordable housing. When they cannot get affordable land, when they cannot get affordable mortgage, when they cannot get affordable building materials. So it's up to the government. Uh, let's, let's, let's take it back to you, Dr. Babishili. You mentioned something about um, social housing. Can you throw more light on that and then the way forward? In okay. Okay. Three major issues are important in human life. The first one is to put food in your tummy. The second one is to close yourself. The second one is shelter. Shelter is very, very paramount. Okay? So we need shelter. If we have a government that cannot feed us, we have a government that cannot clothe us, and we have a government that cannot put shelter over us, then we have problem in our hands. Okay? So what I'm saying is, intervention can come from various ways, but the primary objective of any government is to address the basic needs of the citizens. Doctor, you know, at the end of the day, what matters is the political will, just like um, uh, Barrister Adebayo has said. So Barrister Adebayo, finally, um, you mentioned something about um, building materials as one of the things that um, High cost of building materials as one of the uh, you know reasons for increase in house. And so, can you let us in on where you, where the areas you really want this government to focus on as this new administration has started? I don't think there's anything is wrong if we can get some local building material that can address our problem. Okay. 
if the big men cannot live in the local uh, local building materials houses, they let the poor people live there. Beyond that, the state government have a lot to do. You should stop complaining. The law is very clear that the land use act put the land at their care. You see some state government for the whole of a year, we hear that they sign only 500 C of O. Just like Dr. Babichile has said. He said this problem did not start today. It started some time ago. We need to start from somewhere in addressing the problem. Thank, Thank you. you very much, gentlemen, for coming on the program today. For want of time, this is the much we can take. So the program will be back in a moment. To stay with us. My name is Obafemi Oluwole Onoshile, the president, Nigerian Institute of Queen Surveyors. Keep watching housing development. One of the most prominent features of your house is your roof. Your roof will tell how old your building is. At Plus World, we pride ourselves in having the expertise and products to bring your roof back to life. While other roofing companies suggest removing the roof, we restore the roof with warranty assurance. Let Plus World Roofing recoach your old and fading roofs and make your roofs brand new. Our products are eco-friendly and completely harmless to human and the environment. We offer services that will sustain your roof's integrity and by extension, your property value. This includes roof repairs and maintenance for residential, commercial and industrial properties. Our roof restoration solution saves you up to 70% the cost of replacing your roof. Contact Plus World Roofing today. Plus World Roofing. Why re-roof when you can restore? That was Dr. Ayoba Michile and Barrister Festus Adebayo on provision of affordable housing in Nigeria and the way forward. You want to know more about affordable housing and more about owning a home, then you should be at the 13th Abuja International Housing Show. You can't afford to miss this. Still talking affordable housing, getting it right is what matters. Housing and proper infrastructure go hand in hand. If developers have to go through the pains of putting in place proper infrastructure for estate dwellers, then this will also affect housing affordability. The rains are here once more and flooding has affected a lot of people whose homes are located in areas where there are poor drainage systems and bad infrastructure. Let's have a look at this report on the effect of poor drainage systems on housing. One of the observable impacts of rapid growing urbanization and economic development in emerging cities of developing nations is witnessed in drainage problems connected with housing. Housing in Nigeria are faced with countless issues regarding poor drainage systems and watertight structures, which are the major causes of flooding. Improper drainage system, which is the backlog of land or property in a built environment, particularly in more crowded areas are caused by rainfall, overwhelming the capacity of drainage systems. Also, more buildings are collapsing during the rainy season, partly due to poor drainage system. A partial collapse of a commercial building in Lagos has recently been reported. Poor drainage system has devastating effects on housing. Lokogoma is one of the extensive estate development areas in Nigeria's capital, Abuja, where houses are constructed directly on drain channels and this practice has resulted to blockage of storm drains and consequently leading to overflow and flooding of streets. Due to this, the area is a nightmare when the rains start. Inhabitants of this area have complained of terrible flooding when it rains and how they get trapped in their houses. The flooding caused by poor drainage has affected lives and properties. You can see even during the rainfall, people cannot even go out. Some are even trapped in their houses. The last one that happened about five days ago, I even learned somebody died in uh, one of the estates here because of the flooding and other, other things. And they should be up and doing. The plan is all this infrastructure is supposed to even be in place before these houses are springing up. The access was supposed to be there so that people will now know where to direct their own flows. But they are not there. Last week, the, the flood gets to my house and so many houses there. Some of the residents have even packed out. You can see our cars. We go to mechanic place nearly every weekend. The security is poor. The road access is bad. When I leave my house, before I get to my office, it's more than one hour. What can be done about this? Speaking with housing development, this inhabitant says 
proper infrastructure should be provided to alleviate the suffering of those who live in the area. The problem we are having here is not the drainages in the estates. It is the major drainages, which is principally the work of the government. You can see where we are standing now. You can see what is happening here now. There are no channelizations. And I believe the FCT administration should also make use of ecological fund, which is principally made for this kind of intervention. Because ecological fund is there for them to do channelizations, stormwater drainage like this. Let them look at it critically. Put all these infrastructures in the budget. It can be done in a year, but let us see that there's a progressive attempt at uh, solving this problem. Power drainage system is one of the factors that affect the foundation and walls of a house. It is important, therefore, to note that before building, there is need to understand the topography of an area before it will help determine the water table level. A house built in a poorly drained area is susceptible to flooding, especially during the raining season. Are you a member of a cooperative and you've been trying to have home ownership? This is good news for you and all cooperative societies. The 13th Abuja International Housing Show will focus on alternative funding for finance home ownership for cooperative societies. It is a place you must all be for synergy and construction finance. We are set to unlock the difficulties you've been facing in actualizing housing dreams for your members in any part of the country. Mark your calendar and plan to return from 23rd to 26th of July 2019 at ICC Abuja. You can't miss out on this one. For more, you can visit www.ihs2019.org or call 0816-657-0090. I'll take that again, 0816-657-0090. There you had it, really devastating. We hope the right authorities look into the situation and something is done fast. For this month of June alone, not less than five houses has collapsed in different parts of Nigeria, from Kano to Lagos to Wari to Onicha. Where are the professionals in the construction industry? What are you doing to stop the incessant building collapse? What is government also doing? This will be our focus next week on the program. Now moving on, for the right developer to help you fulfill your dream of home ownership, Urban Shelter is the place to look. Let's hear from them for more. We all know home ownership in Nigeria can be particularly difficult for a number of reasons and I won't go into it. But what we've done as a management team and as in part of Urban Shelter is to really sit down and think to ourselves, well, how do we facilitate that problem? Because it is essentially a challenge. Um, and the most things is we realize a number of developers, you know, you have to pay within three months, six months or 12 months. So we sat down to really think of a model that would suit. And as far as I know, Urban Shelter is the only company today. We introduced the five year repayment plan. This is not a mortgage. There are no interest charges, there are no hidden fees, you know, we go through applications and we see clients that are eligible and really you are entitled to get a five-year payment plan on most of our projects. Now, we also sat down to say, where, how else can we diversify this project? And we developed a, something called a stay and pay concept, where by the time you pay second to third year of your payment, we will actually allow you to move into your property and pay off the balance while you're enjoying that property with your family. Of course, there are terms and conditions, but again, we have I found that this has added that flexibility in home ownership. You can get a house at Urban Shelter Limited by calling the numbers displayed on your TV screen. Welcome back, you're still watching Housing Development. On the program today, we also have the president of Female Builders Association, Builder Adama Lami Kau, as she speaks to us on the upcoming event of the association. All right, now we have in the studio the president of Female Builders Association, Her Excellency, Builder Adama Lami Kau, and she's also the wife of the late Deputy Governor of Bauchi State, Karaba Mohammed. Thank you for joining us on the program today. Thank you. All right, can you tell us what the Female Builders Association is all about? What do you do? The Association of Professional Women Builders of Nigeria is all about the, the female 
builders under the Nadjuzan building. And what we do is we go to the land and brand of this country to ensure that where, wherever our, our, our women builders are, their problems are being taken care of. And also to ensure that we have more and more young ladies like you join the profession. Okay. Because it is a profession that belongs to the one of the built environment professions. All right, now we want to know about your next event. What's, what's happening? When, when, when is it taking place and what's happening? Permit me to talk about the last event before now. Last year in Abuja, we had a seminar where we trashed how we feel we can contribute and deal with this building collapse issues. So this year, what we are going to trash is the issue of female artisan empowerment and women being naturally endowed and home managers we realize it is very important that we, we trained women in this artisan and craft trades plumbing painting uh, tiling masonry electricals welding and fabrication and what have you are going to be trained who are those that can attend the event is it open to everybody or some particular set of people to attend it we are inviting everybody because everybody is a stakeholder when it comes to shelter so please be with us on thursday 20th of june 2019 in the public public civil service institute along Kubua Road by uh, and Alhaji Junction. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, ma'am, for coming on the program today. All right, that was Her Excellency Builder Adama Lamikau, the president of Female Builders Association of Nigeria. The program continues shortly. Let's stay with us. My name is Dorothy Baziwe, and I encourage you all to keep on watching the housing development program. Thank you. Glad to have you back. Now the 13th Abuja International Housing Show is just a month away, happening on the 23rd to 26th of July. What are you waiting for to get registered? Over 400 exhibitors and 40,000 participants have indicated interest to attend this year's show. Expectations are high as local and international exhibitors have confirmed attendance and readiness to showcase their latest products and innovations to their clients and buyers. Now, this show is not just a business event, but also for those seeking relevant information about housing, construction, mortgage, investments, and real estate management. So if you have not registered, the time is now. Visit www.ihs2019.org for more information or you can call the organizers on the number showing on your screen. Are you ready for the most anticipated event in the housing and construction industry? Over 5,000 visitors, 400 exhibitors, 10 countries and 30 international speakers are expected at the Abuja Housing Show. Are you into building or construction materials, affordable housing solutions, estate development, housing finance, smart housing solutions, construction equipment or home decor? Then the Abuja Housing Show is where you need to be. From 23rd to 26th of July 2019, Come and showcase your products or services, meet the industry experts, get international media coverage, make instant sales and attend guest lectures with the theme in Driving Sustainable Housing Finance Models in the Midst of Global Uncertainty All happening on the floor of the International Conference Centre. For more information and inquiries or to book a stand, visit www.abujainternationalhousingshow.com or call 81 66 Five seven zero zero nine zero today.
and that's where we wrap up the program today just in case you just tuned in you can go follow our social media pages on twitter and on facebook at house and program to catch up on all you have missed feel free to like our posts and drop your feedbacks and comments we will love to hear from you my name is Namso Thelma. i'll see you next week same time